Hey everybody, we're gonna have to, I feel like I have a lot to show, but I'm gonna try to make it as fast as possible without going too fast. Reason being is my dog is outside and I need her to be there because she keeps jumping on everything when I'm trying to do this video. So um, yeah, she's outside. She's kind of complaining at me. So um, let's go ahead and get started. This is obviously going to be um, the September update, even though I know it's what it's October four. No, no, no. Today's October fifth. Yesterday was October fourth. I know that because I went to my um, mother-in-law's birthday party. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm getting off topic. So um, first things first. I finally have an FFO. And I already posted this on the group, on the Facebook Cross and Discuss group. I think I might have posted it on my regular page also to show like my other, my like fam, family, friends and family. Um, I finished this, this finish, I finished this project on June 18th of this year and I just <laughs> recently finally made it into a pillow. Sorry, that's a little hard to see. I'm not I do not have good lighting right now. Or ever. I never have good lighting, do I? No, I don't. Maybe it's just me. Um so yeah, it's kinda of, I have a sparkly kind of line going. Or because I didn't want like plan, I, I wanted like a solar system kind of look to it, you know, like stars and swirls, but I didn't want like solar system to where there's more planets because my thing is already planet, so I don't want to do a background with planets already in it, and this was what I found, and I absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah, that's my FFO for this month. I, I did that um, a couple... I finished that a couple of days ago, I think, finally. And then I do have one finish. And if I remember, looks like I have it. I, I have everything written down of what I want to tell you in here. And I tried to write down the dates so that way I didn't have to like look through the whole book. And I wrote down that I finished um, Uli here, Uli under witch's hat on September 18th. So that's what it, that's what that is. And, um, I believe I posted this on the group too. I, seriously, I just, I, I can't remember anything anymore. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Ramsey. Um, but this is what I did. I did a different border. I did these little bats, which I got from a different um, design, or not design, but, um, well, I guess you could say design, different pattern, had like these little bats, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that, like a, kind of like a, a corner thingy, I'm not, like, basically what I did here, I'm not sure what you call that, it kind of just um, accents it, I guess you would say, but I think the spider is adorable, I am so sorry for the lighting. I probably should have done this like earlier. It's about six o'clock right now, six fifteen to be exact. But I love how it turned out, and now I want the other two, which um the other two there was um there's something with the witch's shoe and then a jack lantern. Um, okay, so that was the FFO and the finish. And then I showed this, I don't know if it was last video or the video before, but I showed this finish. And I forgot your name, but somebody commented saying that, um, on, you know, on the video that she thinks this was actually a badger. And I looked at it again, I'm like, oh my gosh, she is so right. It's a badger, it's not a skunk, it's a badger. So that kind of got me sad because 
the reason why I want I was hoping that when I saw this I'm like oh my gosh it's a skunk perfect is because at our wedding the reception luckily everybody was pretty much out of there after like it was really late when a skunk escaped from the ladies bathroom and so it's just kind of like kind of like a moment for me if you will and then also when we were on our honeymoon we saw skunks so I thought like oh my gosh it's um it's um the word I'm looking for is it's fate or whatever that I meant to do a skunk cross stitch so I when I saw this I'm like oh my gosh it's a skunk and then I realized no it's not it's a badger so yeah, unfortunately, this is a badger, um, so I, I was planning on making this into an ornament, but I think I'm just going to make it into a Christmas card and send it to somebody. I just don't know who. So, next would be um, my whips. My whips. Yes, my whips. Okay, so um, I wanted to go in order of, like, when I started them. But I'm going to show you Fire Dragon first, I, which I didn't really get that much of it done. I mean, didn't get into, la la la, did not get too much progress done on that, but it's a little bit more than I showed you last time. And this is him, her, whatever you think the dragon is. I don't, I still don't know. I think I'm calling it a him. And um, I'm going to stand up for this because... Like, oh, before, yeah, I was going to say that I was kind of lazy and I didn't want to take it off my frame, which is actually, I think, an embroidery frame, but, I mean, this fabric is so huge, I can't see now, that, um, uh, da -da 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 -da, that it actually works. The only, uh, negative about it is that, um... I have chairs on either side of me because that's bad. I, I started a little bit up here and then I think I might have done like a little bit more in here. Um, yeah, not very much and again the lighting is really bad. But I think you get the concept since it is just black on fabric. Um, okay, so that's that one. That's that one. Sorry. Scooch myself up here. And then, um, my next one would be pink. Well, pink floral cat is, I started pink floral, blah, blah, blah. I started, actually, I think I started pink Laura cat before another one, but oh well, who cares? Um, here, I'm just gonna show it to you. I'm not gonna worry about the dates anymore. This is pink floral cat, and I'm getting closer and closer to being done with it, and this is one that has to get done this year because I just, it just, it's just, it's small. I need to finish it, and I feel I got a lot done. I'm very proud of what I, what I um, accomplished this month I go yeah this month and um I like I got all this part done and then I got a lot of the flower like the pink and the flowers. I'm almost done with all the pink pinky colors, the magenta, the actually I think it's called free fuchsia. Fuchsia is the color that they are telling me. Different color fuchsias. And so I'm very happy with that. And it'll look a lot better once the um the 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 um the back stitch is there. Yeah. Okay, so there's that one. And then next I'm gonna show you hot chocolate. I didn't get very much done on this one either. Um yeah, but every little bit counts, helps. Um, do I have that there? Yes, I do. Might help if there's a little bit more of a. There we go. That might help a little bit. I wanted to get this one done this year, but it's not going to happen. 
And then my last whip that I'm going to be showing you is Mad Hatter. Now I put two stitches in this on May 19th of this year because I just, um, I got the fabric, I wanted to make sure she fit on it, so I counted, literally counted every stitch <laughs> there was to make sure where, if I wanted to start at this point, you know, would it, would it make it all the way across with still room to spare to, you know, when I want to frame it one day. So I'm like, I don't want to recount this. So I decided to just put two stitches in it. And then it just so happened that um, the sow, the heaven earth sow that started on September 25th um, just um, was allowing you to have only like 15% or less done on, if you like started your heaven and earth design and it was only 15% done, you could work on it for the sow. And since I only had two stitches in, obviously like Mad Hatter here qualified. And I'm very happy with what I've done. I wish I could have gotten done a little bit more. I, yeah, I worked on her for about a week and I have, oh, I have tails all over the place. But um, I know it looks very weird, but there is a method to my madness when it comes to my parking method. <laughs> Only I know that method because I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but I feel pretty good with what I've gotten done. I've gotten a tw I've got a full 20 by 20 square done. I with this one, I'm trying to do a 20 by 20 square instead of just a 10 by 10 square because I feel like I get more done that way. So there's Mad Hatter. Can't really tell at the moment what I did, but I'm definitely in the, the corner, the corner where there's all those yellows and light greens. There's a little bit of black the first page actually goes down a little bit to where like the black is on this side and and in her hat there's a lot in her a black of the hat or the hat okay so that was my whips now i'm gonna show you i have four new starts the first one i'm gonna show you i can get it out of where i had it habit is um, from this magazine and I started I started striped witch hat that's what that looks like Oops, wrong way. And when I first started this, I'm, I, I was like on a roll. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'll finish this in no time. But then I kind of got stuck on the black because there's still um, a lot of black that I have to do. Oh my gosh, the color in here is driving me nuts. I can't see anything. There's just no light whatsoever. You know what? Hang on. Okay, why? Maybe it's too bright. I'm thinking maybe it's too bright. Oh yeah, see that's a lot better. Oh, cool. It's a little, that's a lot better. Now all these like little spaces you see in here that are looking like stars, um, metallic goes in there, so. I think I'm doing a pretty good job on it though. Oh, and I, I, when I, I started that on September 3rd. That was just a random start kind of a thing. Random start because it was like, oh, almost Halloween and I wanted to do it and don't ask. Oh, I totally meant to look up the picture for this next one because I don't have a picture. I don't have the thing of it, but it's called Fractal Lion, I'm pretty sure. You, you might have seen it before. Um, I don't I don't have very much done anyway, so I only have that tiny little bit done. 
of Fractal Lion and I started that on September 13th. It's very colorful. It's a lion, obviously. Um, yeah, just very, very, very colorful. Um, so yeah, that was kind of boring. I probably sh didn't even need to show that. And then I started my the party clown fish. I started that on September 18th. And I forgot to take it out. Sorry. And I decided to go with. Okay, let me figure out which way this goes. Oh, it goes this way. Hello. I decided to go with this blue color. And yeah, that's a map. That's all I got done. I did not do very much of that either. Because I started the middle, and of course, where the middle lied, 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 lays in this particular pattern, it was black. So I got bored of the black very fast, and I started working on yellow. That's funny. I thought I was. I thought I started working on white, but apparently not. So that's good. I worked on yellow instead. Okay, and then I'll worry about putting those back later. And then the last new start was um, a sow. It's called the Stitchy, Stitchy Stitching Companion Sow on the um, Cross Stitch It's Fun group. And I started this little bulldog who I've, I've had this um, kit for a while and when that um, Sal came up in that group I'm like it's perfect now Rumsey, Rumsey is my bulldog she is a lot browner than this she is mostly brown actually but I didn't really want to have to um, figure out the conversion for um, for like colors to make the puppy more brown than white but i think it looks cute nonetheless and yeah and now let's see you won't be able to see a lot of progress on this wow man i got dust all over the back uh at least that's the back won't be able to see this very good because i did that littlest bit of color there and then worked on the white so, like, literally, you cannot see when you're, like, that would help. Probably not. No. Literally, you cannot see that white again because there's no, well, because it's white. <laughs> and because I have the worst lighting ever. So, there's that was the last of the new starts. And then I got a little bit of a haul. So, this video is actually going faster than I thought it was. And um, hopefully I didn't go too fast. But um, the first, well actually no, let me show you these first. Okay, I tried my hand at um, ice, ice dyeing, ice dyeing. And I posted these on the cross stitch, it's cross stitch discuss group. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Alrighty. Cross stitch, um, the cross stitch group. Cross stitch and discuss. Ooh. Um, so this is the first one I did, and these are all very not showing up the true color because of the lighting. Oh my gosh, I'm getting kind of frustrated here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hope I kind of turn it at an angle. Maybe that side will be better. Either way, it's it's bluish. I used teal, the uh, denim blue, and um, pewter gray or something. And it definitely turned out way blue than I thought it was because I thought I was going to get this really pretty teal color. And But I love how it turned out. So then I did, that was just um, a random swatch of Ada that I had 
if that's what you call it, swatch, I'm not sure. Um, and then I tr wanted to do it again because I wanted to try and get more of a teal color. And so I had a piece of um, Ada that I'm like, okay, you know, let's try, or not Ada, excuse me, even weave, and I wanted, that I wanted to try because it was, it's a bigger piece. And it's, it does, it does, it did turn out gorgeous, I think. <sighs> My computer. But at the same time, I'm not sure what I'll use it for. I was thinking if it turned out good, good enough, you know, I might use it for a mermaid that I have that I will be showing you, but I just, um, don't see it going on this mermaid. It's just, she'll just get lost in the fabric, and so, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I'll try to sell it or on stash upload. Who knows? Um... And then the next thing I want to show you for the haul is, if you hear a noise, it's probably Rumsey trying to get inside the door. I got three needle minders. Here's the first one. Oh, I love it. I love this little frog. He's so cute. Thank you, Gina. Gina's Unique Boutique. Um, it's, it doesn't say what this one is, but I know what it is. It's, um... I think it's just called Pearl Frog. I think it's called Pearl Frog because you got all these cute little pearl beads and then you got the little shimmer. I love frogs. I love turtles. I love all animals. What am I saying? So, And then because I saw these and I just thought that they were adorable and I love Disney and I had him. Mickey Mouse in the little witch's hat and then Minnie Mouse as a pumpkin. Those are so cute. I love them. I'm very happy with those. And now that I have room, I can put those over there. And then I went ahead and I don't know because I've seen so many Mirabilia's going out of print or out of stock or you know what have you and I'm like I just, I just want to make sure I have all the Mirabilia's that, like, whether they're old or new. Most of the ones I want are, like, some of, like, the older ones. And, um, I pretty much have, now I have every Mirabilia one that I want. And I got, so I, um, got Elizabeth. I caved in and I got Elizabeth because I've been wanting her for ages. And then I, well, this one I actually bought from a lady on Stash Upload. This is Waiting for Ships, and it also came with the, um, she was giving, also selling it with the beads and the metallics. So I have all the metallics. Um, I have most of the beads. There was one set of beads missing, and then the, then there was a set of beads to ask for three of them, so I had to get one more. Um, but that's okay, at least I got most of them. And the beading, um, it's going to take a while for me to even get to the beading anyways. And I don't, I don't even know I'm going to start this anyways, but um, yeah. And I was having trouble with what um, fabric I wanted to, to um, put it there, because I don't really, I don't like this fabric choice. I think it's too boring and... I don't know, but I found I found the perfect fabric. I I don't have fabric, but I know which one I want, and I want Sea Lily. I think it's called Sea Lily. It's a very pretty, like kind of minty green looking color, but not really. And then um, I was at going thrift shopping, and I found this. cowboy hats. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I can't wait to start that one. Can't wait to start it, but I don't know when I'm going to start it. There's just too much going on, people. Okay, and this is actually a, um, this is not, um, 
I'm going to take this out so it's easier to see. It's not a, uh, not cross stitch. Well, I mean it is, but it's more embroidery. So it didn't come with Ada, but I figure if I use Ada, I can, I, I want to do the skunk. I have to do the skunk for sure. If you can see that, pick up your clothes and he has a clothes pin on. She, he, whatever. Um, yeah. I want to do the skunk. And there's uh, the patterns on here. And I think I can just follow it the way it is. And if I have to, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't think I have to. If I use white Ada, then I don't, I just have to do the black. And we'll add the color. So I found that. That actually came with floss, but like I said, it's embroidery, which I, I don't do. So I'm gonna try and make it into a cross stitch. Okay, um, so the last thing I was going to talk about was um, my plans, cause um, there's, I think, um, Stitching May posted a lovely video for um, those of you who don't go on to Facebook at all or haven't or don't aren't on any of the groups or whatever. And um, so she posted a lovely video on all the sows that are happening. Um, and I know everybody you know needs to know in advance and stuff so you can get ready for them. So um, I'm just gonna do some of the ones that I'm doing. There's also gonna be some that aren't sows. Ooh, that kinda makes me look spooky. Um, <laughs> that aren't sows, they're just new starts that I'm gonna start. And um, so let's get started. I've showed, some of these I've shown before, so I apologize for repeats. Um, but since it's coming up, I'm gonna be starting Sweet Remembrance here on October 18th. This is not a sow, this is just my new start. October 18th will be mine and Kevin's first year anniversary, wedding anniversary. And I wanted to start this on our wedding day, or wedding day anniversary. Um, so yeah, I, I can't wait to start that. Can't wait to start it. And then this one is a sow. This sow is all oh man <laughs> no it's not called all oh man um i meant to look it up officially it's on well those of you who are watching this weren't on the cross stitch dis, cross stitch and discuss group um won't no way but it's a challenge for like some of the elements um it's earth fire, earth, fire, little sticks. I forgot what they are. <laughs> I know there's earth and fire. Earth, fire, so earth meaning like snow or, you know, trees, whatever. Um, fire, obviously fire. I think air is another one. Air, air might be one. Oh my gosh, anyways, <laughs> sorry about that. That starts on October 20th. Um, and I'm doing this one here, spooky tree. And of course you can't see it because it's all, I. Right. You only had like the have the tiniest little well maybe not the tiniest but a little bit of your pattern had to have one of those four elements and excuse me I have fire with the candle so yeah that's cute um my gosh that's gonna bug me it's earth air earth air, it may be air, I could be told wrong, fire, maybe rain, 
Rain. Oh, somebody help me. <laughs> Moving on. And then, um, I think most of you already know this because I think this one was on um, St Stitching May's video. But now I have the hiccups. Is the Celtic Ladies Sal. Um, lap for lav lavender lace, the Celtic Ladies. That starts on November 12th. And on my previous video, I got the dates totally wrong. I was, I said something about the, um, the Celtic lady sow starting on the September 25th when that was actually the heaven and earth sow. So this sow starts on November 12th. And I'm doing Celtic summer. And I'm honestly thinking about not doing the border. I think I'm just going to do her. I don't think I'm going to do the border. Don't ask why. Probably because I'm not going to be doing all of them. In fact, I think I'm, I am I might just actually do summer. I do want to do the Christmas one. The one where she's all red. But that's not, um, that's not like the, there's an autumn, there's a summer. <laughs> There's a winter. Obviously, I'm going crazy. <laughs> so, there, that, that one. This is not a sal. This is just going to be one of my new starts on December 1st. I think this is rather appropriate. A reindeer, and I know I've shown this before. So, again, sorry for the repeats. Um, next sal is actually January 1st of next year, and it's a Mirabilia Sal for the Cross Stitch Dis and Discuss group on Facebook, and um, I'm doing Mermaid of Atlantis. I totally forgot to get her out, and I'm not gonna go get up and go get her, and I think everybody actually probably knows what Mermaid of Atlantis looks like. She's really pretty, it's a greeny kind of, she has a really green tail. She kind of reminds me of the Little Mermaid a little bit, but I don't, but she doesn't have red hair. I think her, I think her hair is dark brown-ish. I can't even remember. And then, um, February 7th is the Country Cottage Needlework Sal. And I'm only showing you one of these, but I'm doing Santa's Village. This is just the first one. And actually, I'm not doing them in order of how they have them. I'm doing them in my own order. But, yeah, I'm doing those. And there's 12 of them. And then the last one, which is probably good because I need to... I need to tame it down, man. I need to tame it down. <laughs> is um, March 26. I believe this is also on the um, for the cross stitch and discuss group on Facebook. It's called. It's like a country slash state sow. So you find um, a pattern or kit, whatever you want. And you either, it's either going to be of your state or your country. So, um, I bought this in Texas, um, some, several months ago when me and Kevin went on our little, um, trip. And, yeah, I got this American Pride and it, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So, United States. And that's it. Um, I guess one more thing is I bought this cute little planner. And so I, um, I'm doing, I think I mentioned in probably previous videos that I'm trying to do a rotation and I'm doing very well with it. Um, and I have like, I write down like all my stuff on here and actually, uh, so September is over. And I just have a nice little thing though. In my next one is gonna be I'm gonna be working on Celia. I have it going 
well, except for Mad Hatter, but um, I have it going in, going in order of when I started. So I already did, I already did um, Snow White and Freedom for All. Like my big ones, my big ones get real get at least a week for rotation, and then my small ones kind of like either get three days, maybe four days, or just the weekend. Like when I was um, working on the tri, the I keep calling it the tribal dragon. It's it's the fire dragon. When I was doing the fire dragon, I was doing the the weekend push. That's on the um cross stitch and discuss group and so yeah anyways that's about all i have to say i'm going to stop this video before it gets too long and rumsey is whining like a little baby so um i hope you guys are all having a good night or good morning and happy stitching and thank you so much for watching and subscribing